Welcome back to Absol Subscriptions. Today we're going to go over the different kinds of build -a boxes and how to set them up. What you're seeing here is the regular build -a box called build -a box Classic or Dynamically Priced build -a box. As you can see, it's a menu full of items and customers can choose which items based on specific quantity restrictions or order amount restrictions that you can set. They're able to choose an interval for their subscription and it applies to all the items in the cart. The Combo Pricing Builder Box, also known as Fixed Pricing Builder Box, applies a plan with the flat rate for all of the items in the cart. When the customer selects a plan, their product selections don't affect the final price of the product itself, as it is a flat rate. Here, we're going to choose to fill out the plan with this many products, which has a limit of 7, and now they're able to choose an interval for that Combo Pricing Builder Box. After making their selections, they're now able to add everything to the cart under that single price. Going back to the Dynamic Builder Box, when we add the items to the cart, it adds each item as its own separate SKU or line item. Alternatively, the combo pricing builder box will add the single parent product and add the choices as notes underneath that. It's good to note that the builder boxes will empty out the cart before the customer proceeds. Now let's go ahead and set up the different builder boxes. First, go to the more section, then build a box, and here, select create builder box. The first one will make is a dynamically priced builder box or the classic builder box. Builder boxes are generated from existing subscription plans. If you need help generating a subscription plan, please refer back to the onboarding video. Here we have a build a box plan for this dynamic build a box and we're going to add tiered discounts. You can do discounts based on quantity or amount. Here we'll add a 20% discount when five items are chosen to be added into the cart. In the settings, we can choose the minimum product count, which will set to three items and a maximum that they can choose, which will set to 10 items. Lastly, we'll choose a $30 minimum amount. You can also change the text of each of the items for each separate build -a box Here, instead of proceed to checkout, we're going to go ahead and name it Checkout Now. Lastly, we're going to change the Choose Products text to Select Items. Make sure you click Enable so that the build -a box shows up on your store and select Save to save your changes. To preview your build -a box find your new build -a box in the list of the build -a boxes on your store and select Access build -a box to find that link. And finally, now we'll see that all of our choices have been added here. Our text has been added as well too. And if we choose an item, we'll see that all of our restrictions have been added as well as the tier discount that we had before. If we fill out the cart, it'll go ahead and show that our new text for the checkout has also been added. And finally, our tier discount now kicks in when we add five products to the cart. And if you select Checkout Now, we'll see that the cart has now added a tiered discount for choosing five items or more. Tiered discounts are generated as discount codes upon clicking the Checkout button so that they can be applied on top of subscription discounts. Please refer back to the Shopify documentation to figure out how to stack discounts across different apps. And now let's go back and set up a new build -a box under the combo pricing functionality. We'll select Create build -a box again. And now we'll select Fix Pricing Bundle. In the subscription plan, we'll choose the same plan as before. You'll then be prompted to choose a parent product. The parent product is the item that will show up as a plan with a flat rate on the build -a box itself. In this example, we're going to choose a guacamole chopped salad as our main plan product. And now you'll be asked to choose a minimum quantity and maximum quantity, similar to the dynamic pricing build -a box Here, we'll choose a minimum of one and a maximum of three. The child products are going to be the choices that they make once they choose a plan and will not have prices attached to them. Additionally, if you choose any items that are drafted or not in stock, they will not show up on the build box itself. Here, we'll choose two items, one of them in stock and one of them not in stock, and we'll see if they show up in the menu later. Select Done to save your changes. And now you can add another parent product to have multiple plans. You can either choose to clone one or add a new product instead. Here, we're going to choose a spinach and strawberry meal prep salad and do the same process that we did for the guacamole chopped salad. We'll choose a max quantity of two instead and choose the same child products as before. Select Done, and make sure that you enable your build -a box Going back to the settings, you can decide to choose your bundle redirect, and here we'll redirect to checkout instead of the cart, and track the inventory to make sure that any choices are tracked within the inventory. Lastly, select Save to save your build -a box and now we can go check out our new combo pricing build -a box Select Access build -a box again, and on the website you'll see the two plans that we made. If we select one, 
you'll see that only one item shows because the other one is out of stock or in draft. Going back to the other plan with the same child products, we'll see the same thing as well too. And our customers can check out on the combo pricing build a box. Congratulations, you've now finished working through the build a box tutorial. If you have any other questions regarding build a box or any of the settings and setup, feel free to contact our support team using the blue button in the bottom right corner. They're available 24 seven on weekends and holidays. Thank you for choosing Absol and have a great day.